Hi everybody, uh, my name is Andrew Howell, me and my brother, we run Howell Brothers Fur Company. Uh, today we're going to be skinning a coyote. We've gotten a lot of requests and a lot of questions on how to properly skin a coyote. I don't know if I exactly know perfectly how to skin a coyote, but um, there's a few things we do here at Howell Brothers to make it a little simpler. I mean, this is an opener knife that we buy. From exclu exclusively from uh, Trapper Arts in Cornell, Wisconsin. Whenever you skin a coyote, and this one's a little bit dim, try to follow the color line. I go right up over the vent. Try to leave as little as meat, uh, as little meat as possible on the leather, so you don't have to flush it off later. Opening the coyote is a little harder. There isn't a lot of fat between the, the meat and the leather. Try not to cause any false knife marks or scored at all. skin around this tail as much as I can before I put it in the tail splitters. The last thing you're going to do before you put it in the tail puller is make a cut above the second ankle like that. We've got the Milwaukee saws off. Cut those legs off. That will make it easier to pull. I always grab from the leg that's away from me, put it in the splitter, pop that tail up like that, and that's how you open a coyote. This is a skinning machine that was given to us by Hair and Outdoor Products to try out, and I'd like to say we've been pretty impressed. It's just a standard skinning machine. The thing that, uh, the thing I like is this mount here. I can set my legs and my steels on. I like uh, the switch being right here. The most unique thing about this skinning machine are the new clips here. And after you get your coyote open, basically the way they work, and this is their heavy, uh, their new heavy commercial clip. You just lay your locker there, and push your button through, and it binds. One thing you always want to remember: whenever you're skinning a coyote, I don't care if you're skinning it by hand. If you're skinning it on a machine, before you do the majority of your pulling, 
You want to make sure that you have it loosened from around the tail. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Most of the ripping that gets involved done with coyotes is because people didn't have a coyote opened up like it should be and loosened up like it should be. Always make sure whether you're using vice grips or these clips and I like using these clips on all my tiles and otter but you always have your hand around these flanks just in case it does want to start ripping you can catch it right away This is where this railroad spike comes in a little handy. You can pop your legs free. Get some of the tension off that tire. The neck is where I usually see people cut holes. So be careful that you don't score that too high. If you pull the cartilage on your coyotes, which I highly recommend you do on their ears, right about there, and there is where you want to cut those ears so you can get your knife in there to turn that cartilage out later. Cut the bottom lip off your coyote. Try not to cut a big eye hole like that. 